Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is June the 19th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. I hope everyone has had a great weekend and that you are ready to encounter an awesome week with the Lord's blessings. For those of you who are new to this channel, thank you for joining us today. And if you enjoy the content of this video, please take a minute to subscribe and click the notification bell for notification of further videos. Just a reminder that you can access past words by going to my website and clicking on the archives. And if you would like a printed copy of this word today, please click on the right hand corner of the PDF on the front page of my website and you will have access to download it and print it. My website address is in the description box below. The word I would like to share with you today is one that speaks of things the Lord has spoken of in the past, but not often. And so I hope the message will encourage those of you who the Lord is taking in directions the Lord mentions in this word today. He has been speaking about taking down the kingdoms of the world as he establishes his kingdom. And this word today is addressing kingdoms of influence in our world today. I hope this word will bless you as you hear it. It is titled, Taking Down Worldly Kingdoms. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 103, verse 19. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. This scripture verse is encouraging us that the Lord God rules over the kingdoms of the earth. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. This scripture verse encourages us that the Lord wants us to live a pure life, uncontaminated by the world's system and in reverence of God. I'll begin reading this word. This is my prayer, says the Lord, that the whole house would come together under one head. Delight in me, O virgin daughter. Dance and make merry, for the Lord your God has come to make his will known among his people. He is setting the prisoner free, giving sight to the blind. Soon all shall see and understand the Father's heart of love toward those who are his. He is a jealous God, merciful and truthful. His deeds are just. Magnify his name. Exalt him in the assembly. Declare his ways. Make them known to the people. Prosperity is the will of the Father, that you prosper and be in good health, that you be blessed in the land, that your offspring be blessed and be a blessing. Do not give up hope, for it will surely come. I have designated it, says the Lord, and it shall be. You will see it and marvel at what the Lord your God has done. Faithfulness shall be rewarded. 
I am turning the tide. Industry will be revolutionized. No longer will a hierarchy of evil rule it. I am putting my handmaidens into position of authority in industry. Clothiers will be those who have a vision to impact society with the message of salvation. Their lines will direct attention to the one who provides for and clothes the meek. You cannot see the scope of the fashion industry that I am bringing into order, says the Lord. Pride and idolatry shall be removed, and humility will take its place. I am manufacturing garments that give glory to the Lord, not to men and the craftiness of men. A complete turnaround will take place in this industry. Fashion shall line up with godly standards. No longer will it dictate immoral codes of behavior, but it shall supply the people with clothing that befits humility and a surrendered heart unto the Lord. How will I do this, you ask? I am taking down the kingdoms ruled by the world, and the fashion industry is one of them, and I am raising up the kingdom of God and the rulership of Christ over all the kingdoms of the world. The music industry is another example of a kingdom of the world, and I am at work to take it down and replace it with that which honors the Lord. The standard of the Lord shall go into all the earth. Music will reflect the glory of the risen Lord. You will see it, the fall of the ungodly kingdom of music and the raising up of the standard of the Lord in the music industry. Even those who use my name and perform under its banner will be removed unless they submit to what I am doing in the industry. This is the day of a great awakening. Your sons and your daughters shall be awakened to the call. They shall go out in the name of the Lord to storm the gates of hell. I am giving the tools and they shall build according to my plan, says the Lord. You will see the building going up and you will recognize it as the building of the Lord. It will outshine all others. Missions is another kingdom I am dealing with in this day, says the Lord. Ungodly bureaucracy will be discovered and brought down, and in its place will be raised up the ministry of Christ. Those who claim to be ministering in my name will be tested with fire. All performance, all politicking, all red tape, all covering each other will be removed, and a true ministry undefiled by the hands and mentality of men, shall emerge to take its place. You will see the upheaval of ministries, the cutting off of funds supplied to buffer those who use ministry for personal gain, for prestige, and to make a name for themselves. Ministries that have sucked the life out of the people, stolen resources, and weaken them, will be dried up from the root, says the Lord. Let me put this in perspective. I am coming with a sword to cut away evil activity. Even those called by my name have engaged themselves in these evil works. I am putting an end to it. No longer will those in ministry feed off the people. I shall cut off their supply and they shall dry up. Only ministries birthed of the Spirit and carried by the Spirit will remain. Testify to my works. 
tell of them. It shall bring life to those who are truly called of me. I shall encourage them in ministry. I have ordained that ministry take place in the midst of the people. It is not a scheduled event and cannot be contained within the confines of of a man-made agenda. I am taking down man-made structures and replacing them with a spiritual structure that does not limit ministry and tie up the hands of ministers of the Lord. I am addressing issues that need to be addressed, says the Lord. I am putting together a whole spectrum of activity that will pull together my instruments of praise. I will house the effort and condone the ministry that will take place through my vessels of praise. This is my quest, my desire, to raise up a powerhouse of praise that will go forth to storm the gates of hell. This is my will, to take this house to the hurting, to bring my joy and counsel. Efforts of men shall be crucified, talents hoarded will be overruled, I will implement my minstrels into the ministry and remove those who are impostors, says the Lord. Instruments of praise shall be raised up in this day, and I will institute them into the earth. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is addressing the kingdoms of the world those places of authority in society that have great influence over the people. The Lord wants to remove ungodliness in these industries and bring His holiness and His standard into them. He is addressing the fashion industry and the music industry. These are two most powerful influences in our society today. And he is also addressing ministry. He is telling us that he is cleaning up these areas of influence, that he will bring his standards into them, and that his ministry will take place unhindered by the hands of men. For those of you who may be involved in the fashion or music industry, or you may be involved in ministry, the Lord is encouraging you that He is building in these areas, and so you can be encouraged that the Lord will use you to raise up His standard. I hope this word today will encourage you and all of us that the Lord is on the move, that He is bringing restoration, that He is bringing His justice, that He is revolutionizing society and establishing His kingdom in the earth. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all, in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.